EPA and WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for May 2nd, 2024. It is Thursday. The Thursday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Kleckner and Sons Appliances. Family owned and operated, Kleckner and Sons have been serving the greater Lehigh Valley region since 1945. Kleckner and Sons are here to serve your appliance needs at two convenient locations in the Lehigh Valley, 2177 MacArthur Road in Whitehall and 575 Chestnut Street in Emmaus. The leader in sales and service prides itself in providing outstanding continuous customer service from the moment the customer steps through the door. Kleckner's provides a wide range of name brand appliances and parts to target all of your appliance needs. They also offer professional delivery and installation op options, as well as repair services performed by in-house qualified technicians. From kitchen renovations to small specialty appliances to a new laundry repair, Kleckner's has you covered. For more information or inquiries, please visit one of their showroom locations or check out their website at klecknerandsons.com. Or you can give them a call. The phone number above me here in the video, 610-433-4202. Experience the small business difference for yourself. Shop at Kleckner & Sons Appliances, proud sponsor of the Thursday video forecast. And Thursday is going to be a fantastic day. It's going to be uh, a little warm. So if you're not into the early summerish look like we had last week and we're going to have again today, uh, this is not going to be for you. But we're going to have some uh, mostly sunny conditions today so that is at least a bonus there but we're gonna have very warm temperatures uh, with a very strong ridging signature across the region and uh, the winds are going to be coming in from the west but that the warmth and the ridging is coming in from the southwest and we're going to have temperatures in the 80s just about every single place across the region today 80 to 88 is the temperature spread as you see above me here in the video but we're going to take quite a step back from Thursday to Friday, and that's because we're going to have a little bit of a backdoor front influence, and this is the start of things, setting up the weekend, unfortunately, to be a lot cooler, okay? Uh, we talked about this in yesterday's video here, but there, there's a high pressure moving into the Gulf of Maine. This is looking at later Friday. It doesn't really have a strong influence on the region yet. It's all the way up here, all the way up here. So you're going to get a little bit of an influence here on Friday, around that high pressure so it's going to lower temperatures considerably 68 to 78 is a spread and the further east you go northeast you go in our region you'll have the colder temperatures near newark uh parts of northern new jersey and the further southwest you go say in places like uh harrisburg lancaster you'll get to the upper end of that range and closer to the 78 degree mark. So we will be uh, under the influence of the backdoor front this weekend. This high pressure is going to expand and set up in the Gulf of Maine. You can see it right here uh, on Saturday. So that is an east-southeasterly wind that we're going to be contending with the entire weekend, both Saturday and Sunday. I know this is poor timing, and I know people like to complain about, oh, well, here we go, weekends are crap. Uh, and... This happens in spring. It happens every single year in spring. That you have at least some weekends that are ruined by uh, just poor timing with uh, backdoor fronts with upper level lows. In this case, it's going to be backdoor fronts. We've had this is the second time this week we're dealing with a backdoor front, and it's because of this high pressure that's sitting right here that's creating this east southeasterly wind around it that's giving you an onshore flow. Okay, now, onshore flow is going to lead to clouds, it's going to lead to cooler temperatures, it's going to lead to showers. Showers are not going to come in though until later Saturday night or perhaps Sunday morning. Here is the cold front moving toward us. Once that high pressure that is east of us, which is right here, retreats to the east, that will allow the cold front to, to move through. It's going to hold it up on Saturday. You're going to be mostly cloudy on Saturday with a late day shower possible. And you can see that here on the NAM high res future simulator radar. Uh, this is actually the, not the high-res version. This is the 12-kilometer version because I, it's the only thing that goes out that far uh, at present time. Uh, but we go, we back this up here a little bit to uh, Saturday morning and then go in the afternoon across northeast PA. It has a few showers here, a little isolated further south, and that's late in the day here on Saturday. But the bulk of this is going to come in on Sunday. But it doesn't look like it's going to be a tremendous amount of rain, it's just scattered showers, okay? And the same thing is, can be said here across the European model as we move this forward through Sunday. It's not like we're having a tremendous amount of rain, but it's persistent, light, showery stuff. And it's already going to be cloudy anyway because of the onshore flow and cooler because of the onshore flow. That it's just going to be a miserable day here on Sunday, it looks like. So Saturday is the better of the two days, but it's that's not saying much. You're looking at a lot of uh, a lot of clouds 
and cooler temperatures here here on, uh, on Saturday as well. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s on Saturday and then on either side of 60 degrees on Sunday with those showers moving through the region. We are optimistic that once we get to the evening, this will start to pull away and then we'll just be left with mostly cloudy skies here on Monday in its wake. But guess what? Once we get past the weekend, we're going to be back into the 70s again. Middle 70s, in fact, by the time we get to Monday. And then we'll get in the upper 70s here on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, ahead of the next system, we're going to increase those temperatures even farther, closer to the 8 degree mark. Uh, once we get to this next system, which is a cold front moving through, hard to tell exactly what we're going to be dealing with with this particular front on uh, once we get to midweek. But right now, it doesn't look like much here on the European model. So there are some other models that are a little more enthused with it, with some activity. So we have a 40% chance of scattered PM thunderstorms on Wednesday as of right now. Again, when you go further out in time, it gets a little more sketchy with specifics of synoptic systems. So we'll uh, revisit that, of course, in the next uh, several days and, of course, early next week, leading up to midweek when we have this cold front come through and see if we have anything there. But right now, it doesn't look like it's going to be too big of a deal. Here's those temperatures we're talking about. And today, you're going to have a westerly wind, generally west. And that's going to mean you're going to have warm temperatures all the way to the coast, even those areas that have those backdoor front influences throughout the year, which is coastal New Jersey and Delaware, you will be well into the 80s today. So this is going to be a very summer-like day today. And if that's not your thing, you know, whatever. But it, here it is. <laughs> we're we're going to get it regardless whether you like it or not uh, today with a summer-like preview. And we had one of these last week as well. This is another one that's coming in today with temperatures well in the 80s. But as you see, if we get into, uh, into Friday, we're going to have a backdoor front influence again. And so our eastern areas, here's our eastern areas here. You see these are, are all in the lower to middle 60s across New Jersey, near 70 in far eastern Pennsylvania, upper 60s is near 70. And then when you have, you have to get to south central Pennsylvania to get to the higher temperatures away from that backdoor front. And that's just the beginning of things because once we get to Saturday, it's going to be even cooler yet where we have an area-wide temperatures in the 60s here on Saturday. And then once we get to Sunday, uh, looks like we're gonna have still a back front, back door front influence at least across these areas right in here. Okay, northeast of that line here. When you get further southwest, I mean you have to go pretty far southwest down towards Chambersburg, uh, parts of Adams County, Franklin County to get into the 70s here on uh, on Sunday. The rest of us will be in the 60s or even 50s for highs on Sunday with those showers moving through. And again, this is all backdoor front influence which is very common. As I spoke to in, in many videos throughout the week, this is a common thing this time of year in spring, okay, in the Northeast United States. So uh, this is not going to last forever. It is going to ruin some weekends as we're going to have this weekend. It's, it's very poor timing. It really is because we're going to have very warm temperatures throughout the work week this week. And then once we get the weekend, it bottoms out. We get cold, uh, cooler temperatures through the clouds. And then, of course, the showers Saturday night uh, and again on Sunday. And uh, cooler temperatures the entire weekend. And then next week it turns milder again. Go figure, right? I'm EPA, WA meteorologist Bobby Martich. That is your outlook for May 2nd, 2024. Have a great Thursday.